Hey guys, and welcome back to Peck Pong. So today we're gonna to be doing an information video about the forehand flip. First, we're going to get into the fundamentals, and then we're going to get into the different types of forehand flips, matching them up to disrupt your opponent, different playing styles they work against, different serves uh, that do really well with these kinds of flips, different serves that um, don't do well with them. So yeah, it should be a really fun video, and we're going to start off with the uh, fundamentals. All right, so we're going to be talking about the fundamentals of the forehand flip. And I think this is important because if you don't know this, then it's hard to go into anything uh, a little more complicated, a little more fancy. The first thing is uh, your feet. So when you do a forehand flip, I think it's really important to get that right foot in. It really helps you get a lot closer to the ball. If you're kind of reaching like this, uh, it, it's not a good recipe for making good flips. And the second thing is the body posture. So along with the right foot, we want to get our body nice and low kind of closer to the ball. And this lets us get, again, a lot closer to the ball. And we also want to feel like our face is getting pretty close to the shot too. Um, all this will help you make better contact and your timing and your stroke will be a lot better. So the next part is an open racket. Uh, unlike the backhand flip, which you're trying to make like a lot of spin, the forehand flip, we're not trying to make nearly as much spin. So it's really important that we have an open racket. If our rackets close like this when we come into the ball, we're going to have to make a lot of spin. So if we, our racket's nice and open, then the, the ball will come. It has a little bit of underspin maybe. Uh, it'll let us get underneath the ball and we'll be able to make a nice clean stroke and we don't have to worry about trying to spin it up so much. Another thing I'd like to mention about starting with the open racket angle is as you flip through the shot, your hand will naturally kind of want to close over. And a common fault is that people kind of flip the hand a little bit, a little bit too quickly. And what this causes the ball is you, you don't really have much control. So the key is to have a nice open racket, hit through the shot, but kind of make a gradual change as you flip. Try not to change the angle so quickly. Then you're gonna find a lot more consistent results that way. It also serves a nice little uh, dual purpose. And that is that if you come in with an open racket, your opponent might not know if you're pushing the ball or you're flipping the ball. Because you come with an open racket, both strokes are performed um, in nearly the same way. So a little bit of deception, um, it kind of goes along with the stroke if you do it right. The next part is the use of the forearm. And when you're doing the stroke, uh, you want to try and use the forearm. And Unlike a loop where we have a lot of room underneath the table and back here, we don't actually have that much room uh, when we're working over the table. So this is the best part uh, of the body to accelerate to get the most speed out of the ball. So when you're doing that, really try and focus on snapping that part of the arm. And next part is we want to try and start nice and low to the table. So if you start nice and low, you'll be able to get underneath the ball and you'll be able to make a linear stroke through the shot. Sometimes I see people come in a little bit too high and they try to flip. It's possible, but it's not as effective um, as starting nice and low and kind of working through the shot. So another important part of the flip, forehand flip, is the relaxation of the, the wrist. So when we're doing the forehand flip, we want it to be nice and relaxed um, through the shot. If it's too stiff, uh, we're not going to be able to make any spin whatsoever. Um, later on we'll be talking about doing special shots where you use maybe less wrist on purpose. Um, but for the basic forehand flip where you're really trying to get the most out of the shot, um, keeping a nice relaxed wrist um, and letting it flow with the shot is uh, important. So a common mistake that I see people make when they forehand flip is they come in a little bit too heavy handed and end up kind of batting at the ball. And what do I mean by batting? Uh, I mean that the, the ball doesn't spend much time on the racket and it kind of hits the racket and leaves very quickly. And good flippers are able to kind of hold the ball on the racket uh, to give a little bit more control. And so 
What might cause this is the amount of speed you use before the ball. So if you're coming in really hot to the ball, uh, then you're gonna have a hard time controlling it. But if you can come in nice and close to the ball and then use your speed, you're gonna be able to hold it. If you come in really fast to the ball, you're gonna end up batting the ball. So try to feel like you're holding the ball, try to take a little bit less of a swing and use your speed on the ball as opposed to before the ball. And the next part is when we're flipping, the direction of our shot, where we want the ball to end up, is kind of determined by our follow through. So if we're making a shot and we want it to go down the line, we want to try and follow through kind of down the line, right? And if we want to go cross court to the other corner, then our follow through should be more um, cross court in that direction. And the last part of this is the contact point. So you want to be trying to contact the ball either at the top of the bounce or a little bit on the fall. At the top is a really good spot because it gives you the best angle to make a strong attack. And sometimes you'll be forced to do it on the fall because maybe you didn't read their serve so well and you have to kind of figure out what it is. Or also if they serve really short, um, sometimes you have to wait for the ball to come out and then you can make a good flip. Um, because the last thing we want to be doing when we're forehand flipping is really the kind of like swatting at it or reaching in here. Um, it's not really possible to make a great stroke if uh, we're reaching too much. So, all right, now we're gonna talk about the different variations. And the first one we're gonna go through is the short flip. Uh, I think the short flip is probably one of my favorite shots, uh, mainly because it's really deceptive and uh, it really can win you a lot of points if you use it at the right moment. So, to do the short flip, basically you're doing a flip um, but you're making it a lot shorter than, than you would if you're trying to make an aggressive flip. And the reason why we're doing this is because maybe you've made a few aggressive long flips um, or maybe the opponent has kind of popped up the ball a little bit off your serve and you have an opportunity to smash the ball. Um, and your opponent may start to back up and they might like be able to get that ball if you're not too careful. So. A really good alternative is to do like a little shorter flip and I've used this it's a real point winner and I've had this used against me it's not fun because you know at one second you're really moving back and the next second uh, they are flipping short and you're having to run in and try to make uh, some kind of recovery shot so what are the uh, essentials to kind of do this shot so basically when you're doing a short flip you want to try and touch a little bit underneath the ball, a little bit more, as opposed to the back. And when you hit the shot, you almost want to feel like you're pulling, pulling back on the ball, like pulling this way. Um, and this will cause the ball to kind of rebound a little bit forward uh, with a little bit of topspin. And the timing of the ball, you want to be either touching right on the rise or probably on the fall. At the top, it's probably going to be pretty high and you might make a really easy short flip uh, for the opponent to just come in and smack. So uh, nice and early uh, can be a really good short flip or uh, nice and late can be also a really good alternative um, depending on kind of what ball they give you. All right, so the next flip is the dead flip and this shot is really good uh, against players who like to play topspin. So let's say they're serving a kind of a dead serve or a little bit of underspin and you're flipping the ball and they're just teeing off on, on your topspin your top normal flip. Well, you do have another alternative and that is to uh, give them a dead flip. And with a dead flip, what you're essentially doing is you're giving them back what they just gave to you. So this works really well against uh, underspin serves and dead serves and when your opponent receives this ball they're going to get all the backspin back or the dead ball back to them and what they're not going to be able to do is to tee off right over top of the ball they have to lift the ball in some sort of way and a drawback to this flip is that it is a little bit slower uh, of a flip in general it's still pretty fast um, and very good at any level but it can be a little bit slower and if your opponent is very quick, very powerful and can generate a lot of spin, 
you really want to avoid doing this to uh, the wide corners because um, they'll probably be able to chase it down and uh, make a really strong loop. So this shot is really effective to the middle, to the opponent's middle, because they have to kind of get out of the way and then they have to lift the ball. So some keys to doing this shot are A, they should be doing a side under, under, dead uh, serve. And what you're going to do is, like I said before, you're not going to use as much wrist um, as you would normally. And you're gonna basically kind of like bump the ball or flat flip, flat flip it back to them and just give them back all the spin that they just made on their serve. And like I said, they're gonna have to lift the ball. They can't just go right over top. Um, and so it's a really great flip to kind of mix things up and to uh, maybe get them out of their rhythm. All right, the next flip we're gonna be talking about is the inside out flip. And this flip has, it's, it has given me grief over the years when my opponents do it to me, uh, just because it's so disruptive. And basically what the opponent does is they come in at a certain angle, pointing to uh, that direction, to the left for a righty player. And what they do is the last second, they kind of open their wrist and go down the line. And what this causes me to do is it causes me to A, think they're gonna go the other way, and then it, B, goes the other direction. Uh, and it, it really doesn't have that much topspin. Um, because they do more of a slide. And that kind of gets me into the technique of it a little bit. And when you do this shot, you don't want to try and kind of do as much topspin. It's more of a, like, it's more of a slide. So when you hit this shot, you, you really want to feel that the ball is kind of rolling on the racket in this direction as you kind of turn your wrist. Um, to the extent, a lot of different players have different amounts that they want to do that. Some players, they do very little, and some players, they do a lot of slide. So it really depends on you, um, but you do want to kind of feel like uh, you make the ball move a little bit on the racket as you open it up through. And another important part of this is uh, it's really important to be open. Like I said before, as uh, on the fundamentals, is if you're open, it lets you kind of turn the racket and go on the side of the ball. If you're closed, um, you have to make a really, really big movement to get underneath the ball. So it's really not gonna work. You really wanna make sure that you're open and then you can kind of go from that and slide the ball. And this uh, flip is also really good against players who like to play forehand full table. Um, paired up with the hook flip, uh, which we'll go through. And the reason is because it really spreads the table and it doesn't give them uh, the ability to guess where you're gonna go or to anticipate where you're gonna go. Um, because you're spreading the table so wide, you're either going wide that way or wide that way. And it's also at the last second that you're making this, um, this move. So this one is really good against uh, forehand players uh, who like to play both sides and also against players who maybe have trouble with a little bit of deception and misdirection. It really depends on the players you play against, so uh, try and use it and see if it's effective against the person you're trying to use it against. All right, so the next flip we're gonna talk about is the uh, forehand hook flip. And it kind of breaks the rules a little bit um, with the uh, no spin, less spin rule that I talked about. And when you do this flip, you actually wanna get a little bit more spin. You wanna kind of start open and kind of hook hook around the ball to get it to go really wide. And um, this serve, this flip works really well against the uh, right-handed forehand pendulum serve when they go to your forehand, just because the angle of the racket on the flip um, deletes the spin that they give when they do that forehand pendulum serve. And it really goes out wide. So you can really um, spread the table extremely well if you use that inside out or you use a forehand hook, sorry. So some things that you wanna do to make this shot work are um, you again wanna start nice and open. And as you go through the shot or as you hit the shot, you wanna make sure that you kind of get 
around the ball. So you're not actually hitting the back of the ball, you're gonna be hitting more of the uh, side of the ball. And you kinda wanna, like it's like the name, the hook, uh, you kinda wanna do a nice little hook with your, your hand and kinda move around the ball. And this is going to help um, get that extra spin in the shot because when you hook the ball, it adds like an extra side spin kick in there. This receive is really good against, say, a underspin serve, a dead serve, or a forehand pendulum serve. Um, and like I said before, it's really good at spreading the table. Um, so yeah, try and use it um, against the players who like to use forehand hold table, and maybe against players who have trouble moving uh, to the forehand side. Um, it's kind of weird, but some players really have trouble with that, and it's even though they might have a good forehand, they might also have trouble moving that direction and they'll leave the table open for you to make a good backhand block or a forehand block uh, down the line to their backhand. So this one can open up an opportunity for you to make a good placement and really get them out of position. All right, so that's the video on the forehand flick. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I covered everything. If you have any more questions, just leave them out in the, leave them down in the comment section. And I, I really try to answer all of them and you know, get back to you guys. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, yeah, more to come.